I think uh, in the defensive zone I've gotten a lot stronger. Uh, that was my biggest weakness, uh, getting bigger and getting stronger and uh, tougher in the D zone was my uh, one of the things I really worked on this summer and I feel like I improved it a lot. Um, I try not to let it be a distraction, of course, it's always in the back of your mind, the draft. Um, we've got a lot of highly touted players this year, so I try not to let it get to me, but I know if uh, the team does well, um, it's going to only help me as an individual, so uh, we've got we to gotta keep trying to win and uh, keep progressing as a team. Ah uh, no, we we uh, we let the draft happen to to itself. Uh, you know, we're all uh, great players, and we're just out there trying to have fun and uh, doing something we love. So, you know, it's only uh, November, and we're not going to let that get to our heads already. And uh, we're just going to go out there and play hockey. Uh, he's had a great influence on my career. I give a lot of my uh, development uh, to great thanks to him. I know uh, I've grown up watching hockey my whole life, so. Uh, he's always been there taking me to skates and uh, he's been just a great parent and a uh, great help uh, to my progress so far. So I can't say enough great things about him and uh, he's definitely helped me along the way. Yeah, to, uh, to play the game and enjoy it, have fun. Uh, don't worry about all the other stuff. Uh, if you want to play hockey, play hockey. If you don't, it's, it's not your love, don't play it. But obviously I'm, I love the sport so much and uh, he's never pushed me or made me do anything. So um, I'm just fortunate to have him. And, uh, it's a great relationship. Nathan's uh, been a very good player. He had a he had a great summer working out and getting a lot bigger and stronger, and his skill level definitely picked up. So he's been a pleasant surprise for us the second half of last season and starting out early this season. So very good kid, works hard, and uh, I think the size and strength is the biggest difference in his game. Yeah, I mean last year he was weak and he wasn't good enough defensively. He's definitely a lot better defensively. But the, what makes Nathan a good player is he finds the holes. He's an offensive defenseman that knows how to find those holes, and he's a good he got good skill to make the passes. So. When he uh, when he when he make moves the puck up the ice quickly, he's a good player. Well, it definitely is realistic. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on those kids, and uh, early on in the season, they all didn't live up to their expectations. I mean, they're playing okay right now, but uh, there was four or five games there when uh, when there's a lot of pressure. And, like I said, the kids just got to go out and have fun and play the game. Let one game take care of itself. And once you start looking at the June draft, and you get too far ahead of yourself. So they've been real good. They're all great kids. And I think they definitely all got a chance to be in the first round. There's no doubt. Well, I think he, his favorite player is uh, Mike Green in Washington. So I think that's what he's trying to mold himself after a little bit. But uh, Nathan's a big boy who can move the puck. And he's got to be better defensive. That's what we talk to him about every day. And he's definitely got a lot better. So I think he's going to be a guy that moves the puck, gets a lot of points power play type of guy and he'll be okay defensively.